Okay, so I put a video up a while back uh, detailing the installation of a refillable LPG system for my camper van that I put in as a consequence of Cala phasing out or announcing they're going to phase out the smaller bottle range. And for some people, uh, and I'm one of them, minority I, I suggest, cannot switch to flow gas because of the inconsistency in their bottle sizes. Now, I put, in case you haven't seen that, I put two links at the end of, of this video. One is a little bit more detail around that, the, the phasing out of color and what the problem is with flow gas for some people, not everyone. Uh, but also there'll be a video link on uh, my actual refillable system in case that's of interest to you. Uh, okay, got a lot of feedback from that. So it seems that it was useful for a lot of people. Thanks very much for that feedback. Um, but I did get a, a few questions, or same question from a few people asking what I feel is better, propane or butane? Well, in my opinion, from my experience, because I've had both systems, it's the wrong question because each has its own advantage and a disadvantage. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to throw some numbers at you, some chemistry numbers, uh, but also contextualize that with my actual experience. Now listen, I'm not a chemical engineer. My primary degree is in mechanical engineering. That's the thermodynamics, so there's a bit of crossover. But I've had to research the numbers. Please check them out for yourself, but not on Facebook or with the Caravan Club. Go into some, uh, some reputable sites like the Royal Institute of Chemistry. Uh, Thermopedia is good. I also looked at NTIS, the chemistry web book. Okay, if you're any, unsure what the numbers I'm going to give you, check them out. Okay, so let's kick off with then... Um, the first thing you hear people say very often is, well, propane is better because it operates better in colder temperatures. Well, the first part of that question I disagree with because it depends on your use case, but the second part is absolutely right. Propane does perform better in colder temperatures. And let's look at the numbers. Okay, so the uh, boiling point of propane is minus 42 degrees Celsius whereas the boiling point of butane is minus two degrees Celsius. So a big difference. And I should say I've experienced uh, the problems of butane in a cold temperature. I went out one, I think it's New Year, in the van, New Year's Eve, I think it was. Um, it was something like minus five outside. Now my, my gas bottle was in a locker off the ground in, in, in the back of the van, not in the habitation area. So it was probably about four, or five degrees there and it worked but it was very slow it was noticeably slower and undoubtedly i experienced the performance degradation of butane in cold temperatures so uh, if you're going to be operating in colder temperatures maybe sort of elks and stuff um definitely propane's your choice when it comes to operating in cold temperatures no doubt about it so in that respect i'd say one nil to propane Okay, so the other th things you'll hear people say is butane is more efficient or propane is more efficient. Well, neither of them are efficient because gases aren't efficient or inefficient. It's the kit you use uh, with those gases that make it efficient or inefficient. We'll look at that later. But in terms of how well it burns, how hot it is, actually the flame temperature of both gases is very, very similar. Uh, it, they both burn round about 1,970 to 1,980 degrees Celsius. Okay, so that's the sort of temperature of both gases. In terms of how much energy is in the gas, uh, almost the same. Propane is very slightly uh, uh, better in terms of calorific value, but very, very slightly. Let's look at the numbers. Okay, so the numbers we need are net calorific value. Okay, you'll see gross calorific value when you do your research, but it's net calorific value you need. That's the one that's going to give you heat to your kettle. All right, so propane has got a net calorific value of 46.36 joules per gram, whereas butane has got a net calorific value of 45.44 joules per gram. In other words, butane is about 2% better in terms of calorific value. But does that mean it's now two nerves of propane? Absolutely not, because in reality, that is a draw. In real life, that's a draw. There's so more, so many inefficiencies going on in the, in the use of the, the gas, such as the heat that goes up the side of your kettle and doesn't really heat the basic kettle that's really cooking the water. Um, you're just not gonna notice it. It's a draw, you can delude yourself that butane's better or propane's better. Look at the numbers, confirmational bias is deluding you. It's the same, it's a draw. 
Okay, so now let's look at storage. Now, because this is where I feel butane has definitely got an edge. Butane is a much denser gas than propane. And let's look at the numbers. Okay, so at 25 degrees Celsius, the density of propane is 0 0.493 grams per centimeter cubed. Whereas the density of butane at 25 degrees Celsius is 0 0.601 grams per centimeter cube. In other words, propane is only about 82% of the density of butane. So you get less kilograms per space. So in other words, you're getting less calories per space than you do with butane. When you look at the bottle sizes, you can see quite clearly you get more kilograms per size bottle with butane than you do for propane. So for example, the 4.5 kilogram butane bottle is the same size as a 3.9 kilogram propane bottle, which is why in the smaller uh, bits of kit, like these little canisters and camping gas, it's always butane because you get more energy storage in those small spaces. So if your consideration is, I want to go further before I have to swap my bottle out, then butane is a better choice in that respect. So long as, of course, you're not operating in cold climes. If you're doing that, you've got to go with, with good propane. So in this respect, I would say it's butane wins that one. So it's one each at the moment, and of course we had a draw. However, some of you might be now thinking, well, hang on a minute, if propane is a less dense gas, so it's got less energy per kilogram in it than butane, which is correct, then surely as it comes out the tube, you're not gonna get as so much energy or calories to heat up your kettle. It's not gonna cook as fast. Well, no, because that's where efficiency comes in, in terms of the kit, uh, and it's all around the regulators. The optimum regulator for butane is uh, 28 millibars pressure, whereas for propane, it's 37. So you're actually higher pressure, shooting more of the stuff out. So imagine turning your hose on, but then turning up a bit, higher pressure, more water comes out, in this case, more propane comes out. So that's how it compensates for the fact it's got a less dense uh, content in terms of calories. Now, some of you might be thinking, hang on just a minute, the current best practice now is not a 28 or a 37, it's a unified 30 millibar regulator that's bulkhead mounted. And those of you who saw my uh, installation of the uh, refillable system will have seen I used a 30 millibar bulkhead mounted regulator. Surely if uh, propane is optimized to 37, it means it's not gonna be burning quite as hot with that uh, bulkhead regulator, 30 millibar rec bulkhead regulator. So surely it's not as good. Well, it's, it's one of those yes and no areas, okay? I don't think it's, it's, this, it's a fair sort of situation because yes, if you do the math, you're getting less uh, energy coming out. It's not gonna be burning quite as hot. So it might take a little bit longer to boil your kettle and boil your oven. And when I switched over, in my mind, I detected that. But very, very soon, it just drops away. You just don't know, realize the fact that actually a kettle's taken another 15, 20 seconds longer than it did previously, or your oven's taken another uh, minute to heat up. So my feeling is just don't waste your life angsting over that. There's a reason why this 30 millibar regulator is, uh, is the standard. It's so you can use either gas or, or on the system. And uh, to me, it just doesn't come into play. So that's my take on it. Um, check out those numbers for yourself, not on social media, go to those websites. Um, but I hope for those of you who have had those questions, uh, it's been of interest. But either way, um, it's not the chemistry of the gas that determines what is the best gas to use. It's your use case. Cold climbs, definitely go for propane. Storage, long before you swap the bottle, go for butane.